You can take the boy out of Stanford Hill. <laughs> you can't take Stanford Hill out of the boy. I live literally three, four minutes from here, right opposite Yusoda Tora Boys School. That's where I got married from. And this area to me is what I would say is my Medina. It's my area. To me, Rabbi Pinter was a beacon of what communal relations should be. When I hear a counselor say Haredi perfectly, I just understand what this area has done. I was educated here in Hackney, in Hackney Downs Grammar School. My father ran a shul, the synagogue, very near here. And Egerton Road was then a united synagogue. One yeah. came there to hear wonderful chazanut. And this area has changed. But Rav Pinter never wavered from what he believed. His Yiddishkeit, his Judaism was paramount in his life. And he never would waver from that one iota. But his understanding of relations with other communities was paramount. When I stand here today and I look what is going on in the world, I shudder. A cousin of mine, a 27-year-old border policeman, young 27-year-old young lady, is still a hostage in Gaza. Oh, yeah. And I speak to her mother all the time, was just there with the family. I look at what's going on. I look at how relationships between communities are broken down. And then I come here and I see this. And you, Madam Mayor, I see this development. And you're naming this path for a Haredi rabbi. To me, that just is unbelievable. And I see my good friend here, David Lammy, MP for this area, pray God will soon be our foreign secretary. <laughs> and I know his relations, <laughs> I know his relations with this community, how much they mean to him, how respectful he is to them, and they are to him. And I'm proud that I'm a happy boy to see what you're doing. I miss one great thing every year. Rabbi Pinter for the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, always gave me his bracha. I miss that greatly. I don't want to get emotional, but that bracha he gave me every Rosh Hashanah was very special. He phoned me when he went into University College Hospital with COVID. And then he said, Michael, I'm terrible. I've got COVID, he could hardly speak. And we helped organize to get the body out to take him to Eretz Israel, to Israel, which was almost impossible. But I still have some juice, although I'm a hacking. Yeah. And I was here when we opened Yoseda Tola School. And just one amusing anecdote. I went into number 10 and I said to the team, I want the prime minister to open a very special girls' school in Stanford Hill. They all looked at me and they thought, well, leader has gone crazy again. <laughs> and I said, no, I want him to do this. And they said, well, we can't give authority. You've got to ask Tony. I went into Tony, he looked at me and said, why? And I said, why, Tony? Because you're going to see another form of Judaism, very special people. And the inspiration behind this was a truly special man. He looked at me and he said, Michael, how can I refuse you? And the Prime Minister, Tony Blair, then opened this school. It was the most amazing occasion. And the speech that was made by one of the young women was one of the best speeches I have ever heard. What happened when we had the plaque and the ladder fell down and I nearly went <laughs> flying is a whole different story. But I'm so happy to be here. May the Pinter family continue to have the zechus of Rabbi Avram Pinter who was an outstanding leader, one of the most outstanding leaders ever of Anglo Jury. And the fact his memory will be here in this park. There are very few Rabbonim, even chief rabbis, whose name is on a road. So this is special. And I know what it goes through to change a name, because in Jewish care, when we change a name of a home, it is an absolute nightmare. So I know what you've gone through. Madam Mayor, Chaim Pinter, David Lamy, Vice Glassman, everybody here, Rabbonim, it is with deep humility that I stand here today.
pay my tribute to the memory of one of the special people ever that existed in a